Yo, what up, Kenny Bogus? Taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure of Kenny's Kitchen with your boy Young Kitchen. That would be me, this dude. And yo, people. Well, first of all, if you're new to this channel, man, welcome to Kenny's Kitchen, man. It's all about flavor right here, man. We try to simplify these recipes and show you how we get down. And uh, that being said, what I want to share with y'all this week is a uh, it's a fresh codfish, you know. Uh, and before we've done whitefish, before we pan seared them, we did the fish and chips before. But today it's a nice little lunch, man. Light, nutritious, delicious. Sound good? Trust me, it's gonna be good. You about to see it, we about to do it. Right here, right now, Kenny's Kitchen. Fresh cod, we gonna make it to perfection. Church, let's go. Come on. Okay, so getting started, what I need y'all to do, people, is preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, what we have here is just uh, some cod, man. I got some cod, and what I did was uh, cleaned it, patted it dry. Take some paper towels and pat it dry. You want the, uh, take, you know, you don't get the, all the excess water, especially if you get it frozen. You want to do that. And right here, I just got a medium-sized bowl. I'm going to slide this over a little bit so you can see what I'm, uh, what I'm about to do as far as seasoning. So we're going to put together a little seasoning blend right in this bowl right here. And... uh. It goes as follows. All right, so we're gonna hit it with a half a teaspoon of your favorite lemon pepper. Half a teaspoon of paprika. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're just getting flavorful, people. I'm gonna tab it, make sure you got all of that in there too. I'm gonna add a little herb in there, so I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of dried parsley. All right, then I wanna add a little bit of heat to the mix, right? So you can add a half a teaspoon of uh, cayenne pepper, but I wanna try something different. Actually, a good friend of mine hit me with this uh, seasoning. She had this Arissa seasoning, and it's actually North African heat. You see that? We're going to add a heaping teaspoon of that, and that looks like it got a little heat to it, right? And then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of about a half a teaspoon salt. Salt and pepper to taste. About a half a teaspoon. Same thing. But nice little balanced situation. Then we're going to take some pepper in there. <clears throat> Shout out Jai for the Harissa. We're going to see what it do. All right, so I'm gonna take a little, uh, get something to mix this stuff up with. Get a nice little mix. All right. A little garlic, uh, got some big chunks in there. So basically you wanna mix this up real good. And then you wanna evenly hit the fish with it. So we are gonna uh, generously uh, smother this fish. From up top, I'm just gonna let it rain, baby. Let it rain from up top. Then I'm gonna flip the script and, uh, you know, definitely wanna coat both sides of this thing. And then we're gonna take some oil. I'm gonna take some grapeseed oil. And we're gonna coat it a little bit and uh, prepare it for the oven. All right, so like I say, both sides, like so. We're gonna move this out the way. And uh, from up top, we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of oil. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides. And like I said, we already got that oven preheated to 400 degrees. And this and this uh this codfish is it's an excellent fish for like you can I, I've done it before, so it's delicious if you know, I've done it with the fish and chips. So it's delicious, of course, when you do that. But I wanted to show y'all a healthier way to do it. You know what I mean? So let me uh, get a baking dish, and you can line it with baking paper if, if need be, aluminum foil or whatever. But I'm just this oil, I think it's gonna do fine. So uh, I'm gonna transfer this to the dish. Okay, so I transferred this to a nice little baking dish, and I'm uh I put the uh the fish in oil side down, you and I'm gonna hit this other side with it, right? I'm gonna drizzle some on top, just like so, and uh, we're gonna hit, put this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until your desired doneness or whatever the case may be, into you know to how you like it, and then we're gonna pull it out, give it a look in a minute, all right? Church. All right, my peoples, that's how it's looking after about, I, I let it go for 15 minutes, then I let it go for another about three minutes or so, man, to get that nice little golden. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I got a little lemon, cut in half, 
Let's hit it with a little, you know, just a little bit of lemon juice, just a little bit, not a whole lot. And that's that's gonna do it right there, man. That's beautiful. I might top it with a little bit more fresh parsley and um, shoot, with no no further ado, I guess uh, I'm gonna meet y'all at the plate in church. Let's go. And there you have it, people. There you have it. Fresh time. Baked to perfection. And again, with this fish, you know, uh, you can fry it, pan sear it, or as we just did, bake this thing with some delicious seasonings, a little bit of fresh lemon. You know what I'm talking about? Let's zoom on in and show y'all what it do, though. Little zoom in, baby. Deliciousness, man. And I just paired it with a little salad, man. A little fresh greens. Baby greens, some arugula. And that's it, man. Be sure to drop in the comments, though, what you want to see us do moving forward on Kenny's Kitchen. You know, if it's fly, we're going to give it a try, right? And, uh, man, that said, we're going to catch y'all next week with another hot one, baby. Y'all be good. We out of here. Chutch. There you have it, people. There you have it. That fresh cod, man, baked to perfection, done righteously as we always do. And uh, just a part of the show, man, where I got to look up. We salute y'all for tuning in every week, man. We appreciate y'all. Don't know what we'd do without you. But uh, catch us next week, man. But, but before you do that, man, I need y'all to share this thing on your social media platforms, whether it be Facebook, IG, you know what I'm talking about? We appreciate the love. And when you do this recipe or any of our recipes, be sure to hashtag us, man. Hashtag Kenny's Kitchen. Hashtag Taste This, Taste D-I-S. And uh, we're going to catch y'all in a hot one. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all be good. Take care of each other. It's all about flavor, neighbor. In a minute. Church. Mm -hmm.